There ain't no hiding place from the Father of creation. The Bible is not a history book, although it contains history. It's not a law book. It's our basic Jewish worldview. Either the same experience happened, or there would never be a Judaism. God guaranteed that the information we have called Torah is so important for humanity that God will not allow our stupidity to get in the way of our continuity. What do you think Judaism calls the nothing that precedes the something? I don't know what's going to come. I will let it take me where it takes me. I'll feel whatever I feel. And just be honest. What am I doing? Oh, I'm leaving my head tested. Getting the most out of life is to find out what are the truths of life. Question number one is, is there a God or not? Is the Torah true? If I come to the realization that this is the truth, I've, wa I, I've been wasting my time. Either the author of the Bible is God or an anti-Semite. You have to be able to verify for your own intellect that there was a Mount Sinai. It's hard to get your head around the fact that God revealed himself to three million people in the desert and was like, check this book out. Where's the glitz? Where's the glamour? This doesn't look so great. Things aren't so black and white. Everything in this world is a test. Every challenge we have is given to us by God because he loves us. I don't want to test every single second of every single day. I want to just be able to live. My happiness is not in getting something new. My happiness is in appreciating what I already have. <laughs> uh. And now we're at the soup kitchen. And as we all know, every Jew loves soup. Shabbos. This is my brother. Ancient Greeks, Romans, Babylonians, they're all gone, you know. And I didn't really think about that before, that, that we, were, we were one of those, you know, and now and we're still here. I don't, I'm speechless. Every day it's another little bit of the jigsaw being slotted into place. Daniel, when you're looking at the Temple Mount, yeah. you're looking at the contact point between heaven and earth. And do I really believe it? Well, yeah, I do, but like a little bit of me wants to deny it all the time. I would like my name to be associated with being a, uh, he was a great actor. You're an actor? So in other words, you are not who you are. Who is the Daniel Mendoza character in, in the Daniel Mendoza show? Okay, it's the truth, I'm a Jew, and you gave the Jewish people the Torah. I feel like I'm a little bit screwed. He faces a direct challenge on the dreams that he's had for many, many, many years. What the hell am I doing here? Embrace who you are, and you'll always bless yourself. <laughs> I don't even know. You knew this would happen when you brought me out here. It's like, don't go to yeshiva, they'll brainwash you. Ah. We have such a beautiful, beautiful religion and people don't understand what it's all about. Most secular Jews, and I'll be totally honest with you, they can't be bothered. 99% true is 100% lie. The truth obligates, that's the deal. Hashem, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs>